You know what it is. This is Joker News speaking. So Fat Joe says he's not against P&B Rock and Rob, but robbers shouldn't have killed him. What? So let's jump right into it. P&B Rock's murder has sparked a larger conversation. Fat Joe has weighed in on the tragic death saying he is not against P&B Rock being robbed, but the killer should not have taken his life. On September 15th, Joey Crack appeared on Charlemagne the God's new Comedy Central show, Hell of a Week, where he offered his opinion on the recent murder of PNB Rock. The younger brother was supporting black-owned businesses going to the Roscoe's Chicken with his wife and his kids. And so we get all these deflections of, oh, but his wife posted the chicken. Oh, he's not supposed to wear jewelry. How about we not supposed to kill each other, Fat Joe said. I used to stick to... I, I used to to stick people up i used to rob people i'm being honest i'm not trying to front for y'all joe added i'm not against them robbing him caught him rob him why you gotta kill him and that's what bothers me and not only destroy that family but what about the other families that are sitting in roscoe's and they see somebody get their brains blown out in front of them you destroyed a whole village of out in front of them you destroyed a you know you destroyed a whole village with one shot basically so my thing is, when you go to L.A., they got a rule called check-in or something, right? Why don't the check-ins check in ahead of time? You know, when you go in your hotel, the key's already ready. Why don't the OGs tell them, hey, rob them, don't kill them, and why do we hate us? Why are we not happy about people that come from where we come from being successful? Why do we want to kill them? Um, as previously reported... PNB Rock was shot during an attempted robbery. Now, while he was uh, eating at the Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles in South Los Angeles on September 12th, according to a police report, a masked gunman entered the restaurant and demanded items from the Philadelphia native. There was a verbal exchange and Rock was shot multiple times before the assailant took items from the wrapper and fled in a waiting vehicle. Rock later suc succumbed to his wounds now. Police do not have a suspect in the killing or are reportedly looking into whether an Instagram post mentioned the rapper's location could have led to this killing. They have also alerted pawn shops to be on the lookout for the entertainer's stolen items. Now, it, it's just crazy when you think about all this stuff that's going on and Fat Joe talking about this and these big news going on. And even since the tragic shooting, death of PNB Rock in Los Angeles, Ice-T has been indi uh, indi indicted with questions on uh, Twitter about LA gang culture. Although Ice and he's done with explaining LA gangs, he's still getting hit up with questions. On Wednesday, September 14th, Ice-T jumped on Twitter to put a stop to all the gang questions he's been receiving since PNB Rock's uh, death on Monday, September 12th. In one tweet, the rap veteran explained why Snoop Dogg uh, Dr. Dre and other LA rappers don't wear a lot of jewelry in general. People are still hitting me up about my comments about LA gang culture. He wrote, if you notice, LA rappers don't wear a lot of jewelry. Me, Snoop, Cube, Dre, Game, Kendrick, the list goes on. It's not because we're broke. LA is just a dangerous place. Rapper or not, why test the streets? A couple of fans reading Ice's tweet pushed back on his comment. One person posted a date photo of the game wearing what appears to be Two huge gold chains. The caption reads, really? Another person replied, acting like we ain't never seen a death row records chain. And so, you know, to which Ice responded, yup, and Pac's death was connected to the snatching of those, one of those chains. You can deny what I'm trying to tell you if you want. I'm explaining that Ice C concluded his commentary by tweeting LA home with the body bag. Somebody said that 30 years ago, along with the diamond emoji, the rap OG was referring to himself who relayed that notable line on Quincy Jones' 1989 all-store pose track Back on the Block featuring Grandmaster Mel, Mel, Tevin Campbell, Cool Mo D, Big Daddy Kane, and Ice, Ice himself even. Now, as previously reported, PNB Rock was shot and killed after he was robbed while dining at Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles in Los Angeles. The Philadelphia rapper singer's girlfriend and the mother of his two children, Stephanie, um, was with him at the time of the incident. He was 30 years old. Now, LAPD Chief Michael Moore told the Los Angeles Times that the shooting incident occurred shortly after the rapper's location was tagged in a post on Instagram. 
which is kind of sketch if you think about it. Detectives are reportedly looking into whether or not the social media posts which showed the location of Roscoe's house of chicken and waffles where PNB Rock's death occurred played a role in him being located and ultimately shot and killed. Now, police have also reported pawn shops and asked them to be on the lookout for jewelry that was stolen from the Philly rapper's neck. The rapper, whose real name was Rakeem Hashim Allen, was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, December 9, 1991. According to his Wikipedia page, Rakeem's father was murdered when he was three years old and he had a troubled youth. Also, he was sentenced to a youth detention center for committing robberies and fighting in school. At 19, the ABCD artist was sentenced to nearly three years in prison on drug possession and other charges. Rock turned his interest to music. He first burst on the scene with the 2015 song Fleek. The artist later went on to work with performers including Ed Sheeran, Meek Mill, YFN Lucci, and Chance the Rapper. Now he had commercial success with the single Selfish, which hit the 51st spot on the Billboard Hot 100 in November of 2016. He had released his most recent single Love Me Again this past September 2nd. A number of notable names took to Twitter to mourn the tragic death of Monday, including Drake, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, and Offset. Offset wrote, Pray for PNB Rock. The man got family and kids. Shake my head. God be with the man. While Juice Wayne said PNB Re Rock really died because of the greed of a bummy, disgusting piece of, you know, and rest in peace to the fallen. Our mother used User wrote, PNB Rock, life is a worth a lot more than some money and ice. We will never learn. Very true, right there. Very true what he has to say. And, you know, all that love and going out to PNB Rock and his family over this tragic loss. But at the same time, it, it's just sad what our world's come to with how we value, you know, items and possession and wealth and what somebody may have you can't be happy for them anymore it's just jealousy and it it turns people and people just become more and more um twisted and evil in a way at a los angeles restaurant pnb rock spoke about robbers talking targeting rappers in the city on monday pnb rock real name rakeem hashim allen was fatally shot while eating lunch with his girlfriend stephanie sabane at Roscoe's, Roscoe's House of Chicken, I mean, and Waffles. <clears throat> he was 30. The couple share a two-year-old daughter, Zuri. The rapper was a father to another little girl, Milan Allen, eight. In one of his final interviews, taped roughly a week before his death, PNB Rock spoke with DJ Akidemix. Aki like and subscribe. Thank you.